Hi, welcome back to the Knit for Brains podcast. I'm Alicia Gifford. I'm Laura Brady. And this is episode 83 of the Knit for Brains podcast, where we talk about knitting and crafting and sewing and all of our wonderful life stuff. You can find us on Instagram, Ravelry, Facebook, Etsy, www.knitforbrains.org. Wow. That's Olivia. Peanut. Who's at that stage where she points and wants everything. <laughs> It's great stage. <clears throat> you want more num nums? Yeah, those are them. She just wants to part of the wrapper. All right. Should we start by showing Grandma's new bags for the shop? All right. <laughs> On Etsy, <laughs> our shop is Knit for Brains Designs. And we have a few. I'll just hand them to you bunches at a time. We got two sock bags of the I Woof You with the. Easter Doggies bunny ears. With the Easter bunny ears. Inside is a pink with white polka dots. So two of those. Only one of these. One of the spirals? Or these these look like logs. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're logs. Oh yeah, I see that now. Yeah, she likes it too. <laughs> this medium zipper with white with white polka dots on the inside and it comes with a matching needle keeper. We have three of these <laughs> pink and silver geometric shapes. Very shiny. I like this one. <laughs> this one's cool. Mm -hmm. This is a medium zipper and it's got silver polka dots to match the outside and <laughs> and the matching needle keeper she's waving to herself did you wave to baby did you see the baby where's the baby what? yes there's yes, baby, there's the baby. <laughs> <laughs> we have two medium peeps bags zippered with the white polka dots inside and a matching needle keeper. You like all the bright colors, don't you? We have one of the old time telephone. Or what some people would just say, telephone. <laughs> with the matching pink with white polka dots and needle keeper that has pink snaps on it. Look at that. <laughs> I switched it up a little bit. And we have three of the I Will Fuse zippered medium size with pink polka dot inside and the matching needle keeper. <laughs> These are pink too. <laughs> we have two of the canvas sock bag in burgundy with the Harry Potter pops on the inside. Okay, I'm glad you called that burgundy because they called it rust. It's more burgundy yeah. than a rust. I never know what. Oops. It is rusty, but it's yeah. still burgundy. Oh, one more of those than I thought. She oh, still has one. Still some. Okay. We have four of the green Central Perk canvas sock bags. So it's got the central perk on the inside and the green on the outside. Uh, oh, you mm. like those? We have two of the Doctor Who <coughs> canvas bags. These are the ones that have the TARDIS and the Daleks and the Cybermen and Doctor number 12 on the inside. On the outside it is black with purple stitching to match the inside. There are two large pockets on the outside and six 
pockets around on the inside. There is a big box bottom, two large handles, and pulls to pull it tight. There are two of those. Only one of these. I sold one. <laughs> one of the regular canvas. There's no yes, pockets on the outside. No. But there are two um, on the inside? There's six on the inside. Six on the inside still, but none on the outside. <laughs> so we have green on the outside, and then we have the central perk. The central perk <laughs> fabric on the inside with six pockets, large bottom, and... The closure. Yeah. Mm. I, I don't know what you want. <laughs> all right, last two. <laughs> you want all the bags. Are the burgundy <laughs> canvas with the tote with the pockets on the outside, six on the inside, and the Harry Potter Funko Pop fabric on the inside. Large box bottom, two large straps, and the closure. Sounds like you're trying to make a song. <laughs> I do have just a, a few left from the last update. There are some loop sock bags still, the canvas yellow ones. There are the Friends Medium sold out, but there are some Friends um, sock bags, and there are a few St. Patty's Day bags left, and that's it. So there's that. Should we get going on some knitting? <laughs> Before this little one dies off? Yep. Uh, I'm going to guess that you don't have an FO. No. Okay. So we'll go through my FOs. So this is one I actually start, I, uh, started yes, last night, because we were supposed to record last night, at least she wasn't feeling well. So I started it and I finished it. Um, it's not actually knitting, it's crochet. I picked this up at Michael's for um, a friend of mine that likes unicorns. So it's the Crochet Unicorn Mug Cozy. That's all done. That's cute. <laughs> and it has like the little button. To put it around your mug. A little. Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> okay, it has a good size button. <laughs> but the button's for putting around your mug. <laughs> it says unicorn. Yeah. It must easy. be mine. Easy to unicorn. I know, you like stuff that's finished. You have an FO in here, too. So that'll be getting <laughs> sent out. Oh, I know, you can't have that. That's for Amy. We're just going to tuck that away down there. Okay, next up. You want to see what Grandma made you? In, in your unicorn bag from Jenny of Cherry Pie Cottage. <clears throat> She's claiming the bag now. Do you see what that is? So this I made out of Neighborhood Fiber Co. Colorway Shaw. And I do have to tell you, I was really, really um, shocked when I soaked this. As deep as that color was, nothing bled out of it. It was quite impressive. So you've seen this before. <clears throat> I was working on the Raindrops by Tin Can Knits. She's like, where'd that come from, Grandma? <laughs> <laughs> this is what the... This is what the yarn looks like. And here's the finished sweater. That's really pretty. Isn't that beautiful? Do you like your new sweater? She's like, what else you have in the what bag? Else is in there? <laughs> so on this one, do you know where that's at? I did the, of course, Tin Can Knits comes in a variety of sizes. This particular sweater came in zero all the way up to 4X. <laughs> I did the one to two year old. Um, just because she is growing fast and we don't want all the sweaters in, you know, one size where she's not able to, uh, wear them for a good length of time. So, but I think it came out really pretty. I did change the neckband, um, 
the, the sleeves and the bottom. They did not have ribbing. I did add ribbing. Do you want mama? No. She so just want thread. You just want the thread that's on the wall. So, yeah. And I did actually um, block it and stuff. You can kind of see the, the lace work there. So that one <laughs> will be going home with Peanut. All right. So Peanut's bag is empty. We're going to have to fill it again. All right, next up, <clears throat> in my Gilmore Girls sock bag. You're just pointing at everything. She wants everything. She's just at that stage. <laughs> this was from Crochet One Knit Two, and it is Stars Hollow Knitathon. There's a little bit of what it looks like. That was my little bits of uh, leftovers. And I have one on the sock locker. I didn't put them both on there, but you guys can get the idea. There's two of them. <laughs> so that was really pretty. That's on my um, sock blockers from Knitting Left. Yes, the lights just really flashed. Yeah, they did. <laughs> you guys probably even saw that. So that was another F.O. Um... I think I only have two more, and they are small FOs. They are in my Cozy Up Doctor's bag. And these I have just been working on here and there. Because um, I'm going to end up donating them. I just knitted out a, I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby, which I have to say, what does it have a, okay, it's denim blue. Um, I really enjoyed more than the uh, sugars and cream yarn and, and whatnot. This is what it looks like, which I have a, I knit two of them. I still have a good portion of this left, um, and I know I have another stain, so I just did a couple washcloths. So this will go in my pile to donate to Brittany. Um, it's, just, it's just, the pattern's just that uh, grand, grandma's favorite or granny's favorite dishcloth. You guys probably all know it. <laughs> it's a pattern you see a lot of. So I basically uh, just took a bunch of cotton yarn and have filled my bag. And I will uh, just periodically, like, whip one up here and there. I did those when I was working on a whip for her, and I had to tear it out three times. I was kind of done with it for the night, and I needed something simple. So that was right for that. You want more? That's all my FOs. Okay. Do you want... Um, Do you keep on coats before we go to whips? You want me to whip through them since you got her? Sure. Okay, guys, you know I mess half the stuff up, but it'll be fine. We'll leave that one to the end. All right, coupon codes. Tiddly Bakes on Etsy. 10% off if you use KFB10. Cherry Pie Cottage on Etsy. Spend $100, get 10% off by using the code DISCOUNT100. Show Real Studios. If you use code KFB20, you'll get 20% off your entire order. Um, I should have another one. Um, Skyly Knits Fiber Arts on Etsy. Use code KFB19 for 15% off your order. Also, on Ravelry, she's Amanda Rake Cole. If you use KFB19, you'll receive 20% off her patterns. Alright, save on. this one for last here. <clears throat> Lollipop Girl Yarns on Etsy. Use KFB15 for 15% 15 off her hand-dyed yarn and patterns. Not on D-Stash. Wanted to mention to you guys, 
this, well, it was actually late last night, she listed five new um, colorways, which are all Gilmore Girls. And she listed her Christmas in July advent calendar. Um, the theme is Life's a Beach. So <clears throat> definitely go check that out. Um, her advent calendars have all been really beautiful. Uh, so I know I will be getting a Life's a Beach one myself. So, yay. All right. Um, whips. I have quite a few whips. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie about it. Um, I guess we'll do socks first. You guys have seen these a bit because I haven't really worked on them a whole lot. White birch, pink fire burns, what it touches. I don't know how much I've done on them. I've done a little bit. So we're the progress keeper. This cord needs to be fit. Straighten. Where the progress keeper is, is where I was last time. So I've made a little bit of progress. <clears throat> I'm going to move that up. You're a crinkly, 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 aren't you? But she's not screaming. Yep. Works for me. What's your point in that now? I really cannot move these things up. There we go. Okay. And that was in my metallic sock bag. In my oops. I'm gonna lose the name of the yarn and then I don't know. My Luke's um, sock bag, which there are some of these in the shop. I cast it on new ones. Also from Crochet One Knit Two, the colorway is I Smell Snow, and it's really pretty. I haven't gotten really far. I, I just, I cast them on the other night, and... That one's really pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And of course, I'm using my Luke's Progress Keeper. What do you think? Do you like? Yeah? She's like, I'm busy, Grandma. Mm. Yeah, that's what it looks like in the this game. These will be going out. These will be going yeah. with me. I know. Yeah. These will be going with me for uh, out to eat tonight. <laughs> what, baby? Um, yum, 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 yum. Grandma, get you? <laughs> She's all fingers. <laughs> oh, say hi to everybody. Can you wave hi? No. Oh, she's noticed my Funko Pops. She really likes Gizmo. All right. Um, this one's right by my feet, so we'll go here. All right. <clears throat> I've been working on the potluck pullover out of my advent calendars from Melissa of Honeybee Knits. That's what that looks like. And I've actually made quite a bit of progress, I would say. Um, and you can actually see more so now what it looks like because I've separated for the sleeves. Oh, there it is there. Really of course, I have it on a shorter table, so it's hard to show, but um, where the progress keeper was, I've done that much. So, or wherever it is. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. You guys get the idea. I'm going to lose stitches. So, yeah, it's definitely coming along. Now I have to actually pay attention when I'm knitting. Um, I am just, it's just knitting in the round, but yes. what I need to pay attention on is the mini that I'm knitting from. Because if I want the sleeves to match going down, mm -hmm. I need to make sure I save enough of the minis to do that. Um, I'll give it a go. If it doesn't, I'm not 
I probably won't be really upset, to be honest with you. But, mm. Mm. yeah. So, and you can actually kind of see the neckline better now. Yeah. Where it doesn't look like all funky. <laughs> so, yeah. I worked on this last night once I finished the uniform. Good, baby. Yeah. No, Grandma, don't wonder. Thank there, you. There's strawberry banana. Ugh, I hate it. I know, banana's disgusting. Unless it's banana lappy taffy or banana, banana runs. I'm not touching them. All right. And I love this bag. I won't Larry. say. Larry. Larry. I won't say what it says, but you guys can read it. <laughs> I started another project for Peanut. And you put it in the Larry bag? It just fit nice. I know. <laughs> it's going to be moved to the Cozy Up bag once I get the project out of that. I really enjoyed into... that shape of bag. I have two. So I this is called... Yay. I want to say it's called Kelsey. Okay. Deal with it. I don't know why I don't see it. It was on here somewhere. Maybe over here. Yep, Kelsey. <laughs> this is a free pattern. And it is adorable. I learned, uh, I saw this on another podcast and I looked it up. This is the item that I have actually taken out three times now. <clears throat> so, I ran to Michael's and I got the Joy DK. Which is actually a really nice yarn. It is. Um, it's very soft. This is the Keller Blossom. It will take, um, depending on how long I make it, just a little bit over one stain according to the pattern. I went ahead and got two because, you know, you want to be on the safe side plus um, match the dialects, that sort of thing. So, this is the ball I'm working on and you can see how much I've taken out that's wrapped around there. I was literally two inches from finishing it, and I had to rip it back because I messed up the lace. I know you guys are shocked. Okay. Let me undo this. Oh my gosh, maybe. I didn't have the right size out, so I just literally shoved it in there. <laughs> Look how pretty this is. So, Lord, this is going to be really, really cute. Yes, this is for you. This will be really cute with um, little leggings or her skinny jeans. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to show you the... It's kind of awkward, but you get the idea. Um, it's going to be so soft for her. Mm -hmm. So, uh -oh. I, I hope to have this done by next time. Um, I've kind of set it aside because... After ripping it out three times, I was kind of done for a little bit. <laughs> so I started working on other things. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Hold on. Let me get you something that's not so loud. But maybe next time that'll be huh? finished up. Ooh. <laughs> All right. I got two more, I think. I don't even know. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Yeah, you see the bunnies. All right. Grande double wrap with a shot of brioche, which I'm not doing the brioche. I'll have to remember to move progress keepers later because I forgot. Mm -hmm. I am using a kit from Hugh Loco, uh, which was a grocery girls thing, and Little Sister. Little Sister, yes. <clears throat> so, I've made some progress. Yes, you have. So, not as much as last time. No, not as much as last time, but I've been working on other things where uh, the progress keeper was. Uh, so, I'm back into my whatever it is, 14 and a half. Inches of squishy garter. <laughs> squishy garter. And then the next section will be this again, 
but it will be in the uh, bluish turquoise, the speckled color. And it just has to be blocked and put together. It might. Eh, I don't know. I don't want to say it'll be done the next time. It probably won't. I don't know why I didn't have those in there. I hate those things. Oh, the noise? Yeah. Well, it they work fine for bags. I mean, I could just make up some extra needle keepers, but for bags that I don't have needle minders for. All right. My last whip isn't much to see. I'm going to tell you right now. Oh, yeah? And it's in my little cozy up bag. I have nothing to show you, really, other than the yarn. Oh. The yarn I'm using is Sensity Yarn. It was hand dyed in Las Vegas. Wild Aces. I forgot to turn off my watch, sorry. It's in Sparkle, it's really pretty. I picked this one because it's a tonal. I don't have a whole lot of tonals in my stash. Everything's like speckled, variegated, you know, that sort of thing. So I'm working on a new design. This is all I have to show. This is it, guys. It's a great design. Is it? Is it beautiful? Do you guys love it? <laughs> so it's going to be a cow. I can tell you that much. I am not rushing this one. Um, it's kind of nice to do it. Blink. It's kind of nice to do design where I don't have a deadline. Yeah. Um, I'm not required to use, you know, a certain amount of minis because I tend to do them just for advent calendars. So I decided, um, I was going to do this. I pretty much have the pattern written out. I just need, I just need to, um, actually knit it. So, but it's not a priority. Um, it's just going to be worked on here and there. I'm using my uh, notebook that my sister gave me um, that I did the diamond cleaning on for uh, writing stuff in. And that's all my whips. That's what I've been whipping on, guys. Other than sewing a bunch of bags. And... Oh, no. What you yeah. What's you talking about? Dog, dog. Oh, dog, dog. Oh. We'll discuss that later, sweetheart. Um, have you been whipping? A little. A little, little bit. You want to come, Grandma? Hey, baby girl. Hi. She's like, what's this mess all over the floor? <laughs> We're just like you. I believe I have added one repeat. That's really pretty yarn. I really like it. Um, after this repeat, after I'm done with the gray, um, then I will be starting my heel. How are you feeling about, um, your signature DPNs? DPNs in general take me a while to get used to, mm -hmm. but I do enjoy the signature ones because they have the coil on it. So, like, you can even... I see one. Yeah. I mean, I have a pair, but... I like the, the it has a, I, I, I think that's what you would call it, is a coil, where it has like ridges in it that goes all the way down, so it, it does have a little bit more grip than what your normal um, needle they're does. Very, it, they're very smooth, though. They're very like, smooth. They are very sharp. <laughs> that is one thing that mom probably doesn't care for. Um, they're very sharp. Um, other than that... I'm good. Do you, do you like them better than other DPNs you've used? Oh, yes. Okay. Just to give the viewers... But a... I've only, I haven't used that many DPNs. I've used, I've used uh, Chaigu and Haya Haya. I think that's it. I have Licka ones at home, but I haven't used them yet. Oh, you have Licka DPNs? Uh, mm -hmm. oh, I didn't know. Because I got them at Stitches. Oh, okay. And then I was going to use them, and then I, I was do like, remember that. Got these instead. So, this yarn is uh, Nomadic Yarns. Dobby is a free elf. 
<laughs> Olivia is chewing on a hand sanitizer cover made by Lila Styles. It is in Beetlejuice. <laughs> She's a talking. <laughs> I do like to apologize for all the crinklies that she's made today for all the headphone users. I'm sure you guys understand. It's better than we her were gonna screaming. be recording last night, and she wouldn't have been with us. But at least she wasn't feeling good, and it was fine. I, 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 I had a headache, anyways. So, um, before we do, um acquisitions do you want to tell them about some pattern giveaways for this episode yeah we have three pattern given it give it given days um giveaways yeah. from amanda ray cole designs on Insta uh, oh wow on ravelry <laughs> we have the checkmate which is a hat pattern that we will be giving away we have the corseted hearts, which is a sock pattern to give away. And we have the Nala's Everyday Hat. Are those all in um, sock here? It looks like it, but... I think so. Uh, fingering or DK weights oh, that's nice. for the checkmate hat. Uh, fingering weight for the sock. You got it? Um, and fingering weights for the Nala's Everyday hat. Okay. And how do we want them to enter? Give us a comment. Leave a comment below. You're entered. You're entered. There you go. We'll make it easy. Fast and easy for you guys. We like the comments anyways, so I'd like to read through them. All right. You want to go back to Mama so I can show a couple things? She's like, mm, no. No, not really. Mm, no. She's like, Grandma's got the cool stuff. I know, right? Um, so. Mm. Oops. Purchases. I actually have a couple. Um, I did when me and Alicia went shopping the other day buy another skein of I Love This Cotton, and it is <laughs> called Bright. <laughs> She's so I pretty. know, you like. So that will end up being dishcloths. They have a lot of pretty. Oh, really pretty ones there. And it is a really, I mean, a really nice yarn. It's much more enjoyable than um, some of the other dishcloth yarns, which I find to be very hard on the hands. Which I think it's because this isn't meant to be just cloth yarn. Like, this is supposed to be for other cats. Hats and baby patterns. And, but it's cotton. It's cotton. Cotton so. can be... You think it's so pretty, don't you? Alright, then I got in my Gilmore Girls Club from Teeny Button Studios, Ooh. and I love Ooh. this one. This one is called Lorelei's Laundry Day. I love this. And this is the February. Guys. I love all of Teeny Button. Look how pretty. She does. Have, have, have you been seeing her Disney ones? No. <laughs> look, at, look at her. She's like, I love it. She dropped the cotton <laughs> for it. Take it, girlfriend. Do you need Hide that? it in the bag. Do you need that for your cubby? We can hide it in the bag. It's really pretty, isn't it? It's really pretty. <laughs> Teeny Buttons never disappoint. No. I have to say. Like, even if it's not the color that you're expecting, <laughs> it's still really, really good. She's very happy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have one more actual purchase, which I did not need. You want this one, too? I mean, did I really need any of this? I've been really good, uh, guys. You know that. Like, I have not been. The only yarn I have been purchasing has been the Gilmore Girls yeah. um, thing. I don't count the dishcloth and uh, Peanuts DK because I use that right away anyways. Yes. Um, really trying to knit through the stash, which Alicia, she'll, she'll laugh, but you can actually see holes now in my cubbies. There, there's, there's room to breathe for yeah. the yarn. Um... Which is good because we do have a couple yarn events coming up. 
Not that I'll purchase the last, the last, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> the last, <laughs> the last few uh, yarn events. We have not gone crazy. Uh, two or three stains, isn't it? Um, so I did purchase one thing because I saw it on Instagram. And like I said, it's not that I needed it. But it happens. So it's from... <laughs> <laughs> it's from Fate's Thread. I've wanted to order like 20 of these. And it's one of her um, notion pouches. The vinyl. The vinyl. Thank you. I was I was losing the... I couldn't figure, remember the word. And, well, you guys know I love Pac-Man. They have every fandom right now. So, let me show her card. You dropped your yarn. That's Grandma's yarn. But <laughs> we, we won't, you know... <laughs> It can go in her cup, though, <laughs> if you really like it. So, that was really cute. I don't know what... I, you know, I buy Notions pouches, and, you know, I think... I'm going to use these. I'm going to use these. I'm going to have one in every bag. And then, I never put them in there. And then, we head up north or out to dinner and stuff, and I'm and like... And then you need it. Oh, I don't have this with me. Or, I don't know how many times I've had to make your dad turn around to go home because... I realize as we're leaving, you know, we're don't two blocks down. Measure. Oh, I don't have a tape. Tape measure isn't quite as bad because... Or a needle. Dad's really good. I can just hold it up and be like, how how many inches is this? And he, you know, spouts it off. And it, he's usually pretty right on. Yeah, he's good at that. Um, or I'm, I'm, I'm not like that. I'm like, eh. So I need to get better about using them. And needle I a, and I have a really scissors. nice... Um, Pac-Man bag I made as well, so I figured this would go really well in there. So there's that. Um, my rena section, my thrifting. I did pick up a couple things, other than for peanut. Okay. <laughs> I did get a new 31 bag because, guys, I saw it and I pulled it out, thinking, "Oh, they're gonna have something strange on it." There was an owl. Love it. So. It's really cute. Why would I not get this? And it's in the style that I like with the pockets and the little mesh on the um, sides. And no, no, no. Peanut loves it. Yes, she does. Then I also hey. picked up. Pretty. Hey. Oh, trying to reach. A uh, colored pencil case? Yeah. The, well, it? no, it's a pen case. A pen case, pencil case. Because it, it came with pens in it because I have one. Okay. So it's a pen case. I picked it up at Goodwill for like $5, okay? It has three... You're making this very hard. <laughs> it, it has three zippered sections. She wants to show the next one. Well, you need to wait. <laughs> so, what I did, because I had a case that came with my original DPNs, but it had like the elastic rubber bandy things mm -hmm. that once you take them in and out, they break. Yeah. So, I had DPNs well, here. I had DPNs there. <laughs> So, this works out really well for storing your DPNs. So, I have all of my um, carbons in the first one. Oh, yeah? Okay. I have all of my zings and my signatures in the second one. And then in my third one, I have just kind of some ran uh, Chagoos over here, and then these are just kind of some random brands. Hey. So I have all my DPNs now in one little case. I love it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So then I have a case already for like my interchangeables, which hey. works out fine. What I didn't have was for my, ow, that was my ankle, what I didn't have for was for my fixed needles. So when me and Alicia went to Hobby Lobby, okay, wow, why don't you just open this up and give her that sheep thing. It's kind of hard to open. Maybe once I you think get used to it. I think it'll loosen. So... We were looking at different ones, and I didn't need a whole lot. So basically, you want to hold it up a little higher? This bottom section is all my fixed 
sock needles. The top one is all my fixed 16 inch. Um, the next one are the ones that I, my fixed, what I usually use for shawls. And then the center one is just kind of a couple random ones, which I even left them in their packaging. Um, that way I know exactly what they are. And then in the top, I also have some, um, I had the needle gauge. Thank you. And I think there's a couple, um, cable needles and stuff like that in there. And it has a little handle. So I'm feeling quite organized right now. Of course, it probably won't last. And if I actually went through bags, I'd find a ton more needles. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Although I do have um, all my bags emptied out, except for like a few whips that I really need to decide what I'm doing with if I'm going to actually finish them or if I'm just going to rip them out. I did rip out two projects the other day that are not going to be done uh, ever. So there's that. <laughs> Uh, did you have any acquisitions? No. No. Okay. Um. <laughs> do you? I mean, we bought a house. Is that an acquisition? I don't know. Which we'll do a walk walkthrough video like we did on the last one once it's more um together. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming along, but I mean, everything takes time, and so there's that. Okay. Um. Wow. Wow. I'm going to go ahead and do, do my, my update for the two weeks. That way we don't end it. And then you can do yours. That way we don't end it on a sad note. Okay. Okay. So if you guys don't follow us, and I'm going to try to make it through this. You're not. <laughs> if you guys don't follow us on um, Instagram, you... Hi. <laughs> you're, you're probably not aware. Um, and... The 19th of this month, we lost Moo Moo. Yeah, I'm going to tear up. I'm going to try to keep it together. <laughs> um, kind of knew it was coming, kind of didn't. It was one of those things. Mm -hmm. I will have to say, it was right, it was the week after podcast. So, Sunday, you guys were, you were so great. We had a lot of orders, um, so she was very happy. Monday, we took her um, to the post office, and because uh, she always loved bringing your orders to the post office, she was our little postal delivery. And we took her to McDonald's for French fries because, as of late, probably what the last month, mm -hmm. month and a half, she really um, grown to love French fries. Yep, that was a new one. We have never believed in feeding human food to dogs, but when you get to 14 and you have one eye, you can have whatever you want. <laughs> so we're really glad that we did do that um, on that Monday because then with, you know, losing her on Wednesday. So I have one more thing um, I want to show that my friend Laura sent me which is just beautiful um it's made by um Anne at silver silver shed usa printed the fabric and made the bag and i will show it's two-sided with two different pictures, and I'll show the side that you guys are probably more familiar with. Oh. Our little Moo Moo. And then the other hey. side has, which hey. you guys probably <laughs> never saw this. Who is that? I know, she looks strange. She had two eyes. <laughs> and both ears never stood up. Hey. Yeah, originally her ears never hey. stood up. Now, once she had the one eye removed for whatever reason, balance issues. Her, her ears stood up. Um, the eye doctor said it was just a coincidence, but I don't think so. Um, it has like a batting almost. It's not just a plain interface. And then there's a shoulder strap that I can hook onto it. So, little Moo Moo <laughs> can go traveling with us again. <laughs> Which I gotta call the vet because she's still not home. Huh. And she, she should be home by now. 
Um, we did have her cremated. Uh, I have a spot already for her. Most of her stuff is still here and out. Um, I did pack up some of her treats and yeah. brought over um, to Alicia. We have kind of, we need to finish packing up her car seats because, yeah, she was such a diva. She, she had four car seats, one for every vehicle. <laughs> and we need to um, pack up her stroller. We're going to just put them in the rafters for storage. That sort of thing. And then we'll get rubber beds and her little blankie and, you know, all that. Not ready. Still in the crying stage and don't really know what to do because it's uh empty yeah and she was a dog that we had to medicate every hour so now it's like where your time go <laughs> what do i do with all this what do, time what do i do and the other it, she was my knitting buddy as well she always sat in my lap and <laughs> a couple nights ago because i'm not used to having my my lap empty she was always there i set my remotes there well because of the weight because she was only five pounds I completely forgot i went Oh, to pat her. So I've learned I cannot have the TV remotes in my lap at all. <laughs> um, your dad does the same thing because when I'm knitting, when he'll get up to, you know, go get his tea or whatever, he'd always stop at the recliner and, and pat her. And he keeps forgetting. <laughs> you know, it's it's very... Where, where'd your headband go? <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, and that's part of the reason why I didn't have more knitting done than <laughs> what I did. And I didn't have more bags done than what I did because for a few days there was nothing, nothing. nothing going on. You stay, you you went to my house. Yes. And um, unpacked. I did because uh, this happened on Wednesday. And we moved on Friday. She moved on Friday, so, and Friday was the first day that Brett went back to work, and I was going to be here all by myself. So I was like, come over and move boxes. And I did. I worked my <laughs> butt off. Like, I just kept going and going and going and going, and it was, a, it was a really nice, um, distraction. Shh, 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 shh. Hey. Um, so yeah. Oh, I love you too, even though you wouldn't give me kisses this morning. <laughs> so, yeah, that was my two weeks. Dealing dealing with that. Knitting. Um, sewing. We did get some new fabrics the other day when we were out for the next update. Yep. So, there'll be that. Alright. You have updates for the last two weeks. <gasps> Uh, we bought a house. We moved into the house. <laughs> That's Olivia's butt. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, and she said grandma the other day twice. Because <laughs> I'm your favorite. <laughs> Shh, don't tell the other one. <laughs> yes. Um... We, I uh, went to the doctor, still very sick. I go back next week. They said it should be stopping soon. It hasn't. So I might be that 1% that is sick the entire time. Who knows? Um, house is pretty much put together, except my craft room. <laughs> and um she like some pictures to like pictures still. because it's overwhelming to put up pictures for me uh, i'm like i want the pictures up but every time that i decide on a place i second guess myself and it doesn't need to come over and just go put it here here here, here. pretty much that's kind of what happened with some of them at the last I was like, I, I, I think i want it here but i don't i don't know so it, it it's, and and her husband's not one for we're being born able to make two days decision. apart. We're the same on decision making. Like, Taurus to the T. <laughs> um, oh, God. Sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> this is an everywhere type of podcast. And you know what? For the people who stuck around, 
you're doing great <laughs> and we're proud of you so we will be finding out the gender of the new baby in two weeks a day before we podcast again so we are going to have you guys comments below of if you think it is going to be a, another girl or a boy and if you are correct we will be sending you a coupon code for the shop <laughs> she doesn't like to stay still anymore is the problem she wants to you know yeah you want to go and she wants to play huh and new house has stairs, so she likes to go up and down the stairs. A lot and fast. Yeah. She's Very fast. She's really good at them. Uh, we, have, we have gates that are built in, so as soon as we're downstairs, I just shut it, and nobody goes back upstairs. Uh, we have a basement, but there's a door on it, so that door is always shut. <laughs> She got to spend the whole week with her dad, so she was very happy. Yeah, the rest of us were chopped liver. I don't have to do anything because she doesn't want me. Yeah, when he's home, she wants him. Yeah. So it's it's great. But it's because he like flies around the house and he has more muscles than us. We I, we we get tired. She's she's heavy. She's heavy, and I'm having issues with my with my pelvic phone so I can't really I can't really do the picking up and walking around too much what? go okay Stay honk honk. okay guys so <laughs> she loves anything with noise as I'm sure all your kids do <laughs> so we'll be back in two weeks yep Make sure you leave a comment below about gender, about anything to get entered into um, content pattern give giveaway, which if you do a gender comment, that will qualify you for the giveaway as well. I suppose. Yeah. Um, as always, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Hit the little bell. It'll let you guys know um, when we put out a new video. Because it's usually on Monday, but sometimes it's in the morning. It, it really just... It depends. It depends. Um, give us a thumbs up. All that, oh, all that stuff <laughs> helps get us out to um, other potential viewers. It will, re <laughs> yeah, it will recommend us um, to other people. So that's always a good thing. Oh, are we getting tired? I know it's a pretty baby. <laughs> baby, where's baby? the baby? Yeah, she's yes. up there. <laughs> you want to tell our viewers bye bye, and we'll see them in two weeks. Yeah. Say bye bye, Peanut. Say bye bye. Oh, she's waving, but you can't see it. <laughs> we'll see you guys in two weeks. Bye.